Monique Cross, and I'm here with David Maurice, fee only CFP here mm -hmm. at Worthwhile Wealth. And we wanted to come talk to you guys today about the high tensions in the market. Mm -hmm. We know a lot of people are worried. We know you're seeing all kinds of stuff in the media, mm -hmm. but we wanted to come to you guys with some information that we get and how we interpret it. And today David's going to tell us about the Vicar stock research. <laughs> I don't know a lot about it, but he's going to teach all of us today. Well, there's not much to teach. Really. <laughs> Vickers is a, it's just a wonky uh, index that, that really tracks inside traders. Now these are legal insiders, people who should know. These are people who are corporate executives. They, they are inside at the top of companies. And so they just, we just look at it to see how are these people looking at the market? Are they bullish or are they bearish? Do they feel like this is a good time to be in or not? Okay, let's explain what bullish and bearish is for those okay, who not. So bullish is we're real strong, we're real optimistic, we're positive okay. that we should be in stocks. And bearish is, oh no, this is terrible, we should not be in stocks. Well, good, bear, bad. <laughs> there you go. Got it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so what is this? Insider stuff mean for investors? Well, it's interesting because January insiders, Mo, <laughs> Monique, can I call you Mo? You absolutely can. Okay, Mo, uh, been very uncertain through January, as you might expect, until suddenly this week, this index just really turned up sharply, pointing like an English pointer on its prey. Oh, wow. Sounds um, optimistic. It is optimistic. How? <laughs> How optimistic. Well, it's the most optimistic since... Uh, March of 2020, and if you think about it, that's right in the middle of the crater of the economic yeah. shutdown and when we had everything in lockdown. But it was also, if you look back, this is the very bottom of the market, March of 20. That's very much a, a pattern of, he, of historic um, ways that the stock market works after an economic shock. That's where the bottom of the market is, and then it will go up. So it's a hard time for people to get in, but that's when they should already be in. Um, write it down. Are there other bullish signs happening? Well, sure. Uh, there are other bullish signs. Long-term investors should take kind of a rear-view mirror picture, kind of a snapshot of where we've been. After GDP took a little bit of a, of a breather in the third quarter of last year, the fourth quarter turned up hard really hard and that was uh, 6.9% for the for the year or for the quarter last year. Okay, so what does that mean? What well, does that 7% mean? That 6.9% pulled the entire year up to 5.7% and that beats all records for one year going all the way back to the 1980s. Okay, how does that compare to the damage of the pandemic? Well, for one thing, that's double about how the uh, GDP has been for the last decade or more, and compared to the pandemic, during 2020, the uh, economic contraction was really only 3.4%. So it was really a knockout year last wow, year. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit up and down, but for the most part, just a blowout. Okay. Yeah. How about any more good news for well, us? <laughs> another good news is, of course, we're hearing about inflation, but one of the flip sides to inflation is that we have wages growing at 5%, and that's very good because it fuels consumer uh, spending, which is two-thirds of the economy in the U.S. I definitely have seen wages go up, you know. Yes, absolutely. For everybody I know. Okay, what about businesses? How well, does it mean for them? It's very important because corporate earnings are the single greatest driver uh, for stock prices going up. And it looks like last year is going to come in around 50% over the year before. So corporate earnings in the last quarter are coming in around 25% over the year before. For that quarter and about 50 percent for the total year okay that's good all that's right very good give us the bottom line okay so the bottom line is the u.s economy just keeps steamrolling over inflation covid and supply chain worries they're all legitimate concerns but mm -hmm. the u.s economy is taking it and just moving on stocks really like this good so we're gonna we're gonna get over this we're gonna keep plowing through it yes that's awesome Thank you so much for all the information and explaining this to us, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.